beautiful beautiful what's good family it's your boy zp zp the i am i am that i am as you are that you are for we are all that we are so it's your boy's back just dropping a quick video i wanted to hop in on a quick live and just do this because um these are just so much easier and efficient to bang out these short videos but i was doing a connection earlier today and we connected with the buddha um pulling so much profound insight and just knowledge and wisdom that comes through when you're connecting with these higher dimension higher dimensions and these higher um vibrational wisdom so to speak anyway so while i was connecting with the buddha he was dropping a lot of profound messages hey Gigi, um a lot of profound messages on uh well different things but the main thing that i wanted to share today was the value of simplicity so while connecting with the buddha in this connection earlier um he just kept hammering how overlooked and undervalued simplicity goes in our lives uh, we spend so much time in these modern day eras especially connected with the technology um on the face stirs and the insta and the insta books and all that good stuff um that we kind of lose that beauty and simplicity that is life you know that that you can really experience in life and there's a real value there when um when we actually set that intention and take the mindful aspect of actually tapping into the energy of simplicity right so the buddha was making this example with bathing um the question came up in the connection how uh can we cleanse something to that effect and the buddha showed me this beautiful imagery of him sitting under a water for meditating he was in a place of stillness in a place of peace and it was beautiful and he was expressing how this is how he bathed, particularly at that time when he was embodied. He would sit in the water and simple waterfalls and lakes and streams, um, relaxing, easing himself into that and allowing the waters to wash and cleanse him. But through intention, through mindfulness, he, right, he was able to uh, dispel more than just dirt from his body. He was able to use the water to, to purify, to allow himself to heal, to purge, to clear out mental energies, to clear out emotional blockages. There's a flow and an innate energy that comes in water, right? And the simplicity of just taking a bath, how valuable that can be when it comes to clearing, cleansing energy, cord cutting, all these different things that we talk about nowadays in our society, and we look for different ways of how we can do this, and we get away from the basic, natural, simplest remedies that really are the foundations for all that we're, we're preaching. Um, so with the, with the idea of that being how easy and how uh, cleansing and purging healing that water can be in and of itself. So a follow-up question came and somebody's like, should we be using sea salts and Himalayan salts and something to that effect? And again, the lesson was about here we go again with the desire to overcomplicate things, to make things so much more advanced, to kind of ex 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 expedite and so to speak, exacerbate situations through this need to try to overcomplicate things, right? When the water, the simple act of being in the water, of letting that wash down over you and flow over you, being enough and being cleansing and healing of itself, this idea that we need to go in and add, should I get the Himalayan sea salts? Should I get this? Should I do the essential oils? All of that is beautiful and there's a place for all of that. But to remember, starting in the simplest place, there's just so much value and validity there. And that's the foundation for everything, right? Like all of that sea salt stuff, all of the essential oils when it comes to a bath, that's great. But you can't take a bath in just that, right? You still would need that water. That water is doing a lot of that heavy lifting. So when the next time you're in the bath or any situation in your life, the guidance is coming up to remember your foundations, to remember your roots and to remember the simplicity of things. Because even in life, as we, we strive, we want to create, we want to manifest, it's still so complex and complicated. The simplest, most beautiful experiences in life are held in stillness. When we step outside in nature, breathing that fresh, crisp air, seeing the sun, watching animals play, playing with our children, 
some of the life's most beautiful things are had in simplicity. And so when you get caught up in this desire, in this urge and inclination to get into that rat race, right? To get into that mindset, remember that simplicity. Remember to come back to the stillness because it's there. It's there that you find true value and it's there that you're going to find true peace. All right. So that's your message from the Buddha direct stillness and simplicity, a.k.a. Keep it simple. Silly. It's your boy ZP. I'm out. <laughs>